Hello, in this video tutorial I'm going to be um, showing you how to get started with these flip robots, the E300, so these sort of things. Um, probably the first step obviously you've got to build it out of the box, but once it's built um, it comes with a pretty handy remote control. So you can start playing around with that, and then when you want to actually start manipulating it, as in computer programming it, um, we need to hook it up to a computer. So get the white USB cable, plug it into the robot, plug it into your computer, should make a noise something like this, like that, uh, and hopefully that means we're kind of good to go. Now, I'll put these, um, I'll put links to everything in the, um, in the comments of this YouTube video, and if you're in my class, obviously all of these are available from our common page. So, we're going to be looking at these flip robots. So, probably the first spot to start is with the extensions tab. So, I've already got it open, so I'll just restart Chrome. Essentially, what I need to do in Chrome, in the top right corner, go into the three dots, which is the settings, and go to more tools, extensions. In here, I need to install, um, because this is web-based programming and, and a web-based interface, I need to install an extension to be able to communicate with the robot. So, um, Basically, to do that, I need to turn on developer mode. And next, I need to get my um, my extension, which I've already downloaded. Uh, and I'll drag to install. Uh, it will do some stuff, and that's OK. And I click Add App. So I can see that it's there. And in extensions, let's just go back there and make sure it's actually turned on. Yep, so blue's on. If it's not blue, click that little button. Awesome. So that is hopefully correctly installed, um, which means we should be good to go. So out of the box, it's um, when you turn on your flip robot, it should hopefully have blue lights sort of at the, the eyes. Um, and this is sort of the default mode, so you can press the button to change colors and change the default modes that it has. Um, and if you put some code in, you will potentially overwrite these um, initial settings, so you might want to come back to them at some stage. So to do that, we need to come to this site, which again I'll link in the in the comments, and it's already on the common page. And this allows us to just basically revert the brain of the flip robot back to default. So we need to select the the board, which is the E300, and the port, which is anything but COM1, pretty much. So FR, great flip robot device on COM3. So if I click Upload, um, that's going to upload and we'll hear hopefully the, the little robot, once it's taken the, the flash on board, it'll sort of restart. Great, and that means it's been reverted back to um, back to its factory default. If that didn't work, you can just press Control-R and, um, and reload it. 